Welcome to Christ for Life. Today's message is titled, In His Steps. And we're taking it from 1 Peter 2, starting in verse 21. And the idea today is that we're going to follow something in our life. We've always followed something. Uh, we follow rules. Some people follow sports teams, some news, politics. We all follow something. But the reality is all the things that you follow, except for one, change over time. If you were to look at uh, your favorite uh, sports figures or Hollywood actors or movies or your favorite food even, something as basic as that, our tastes change over time. But there is one thing that is eternal and that is Jesus Christ. And when we follow him, we see that we don't have to update our thinking. We don't have to equivocate or apologize or change anything. We just follow that which is eternal, which is Jesus Christ. So 1 Peter chapter 2, starting in verse 21, let me read these verses to you. For you were called to this because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He did not commit sin and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he did not insult in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, so that having died to sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were like sheep going astray, but you have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. Beautiful words. Uh, words to live by uh, every day. And so in that thought process, that thinking about the things that we follow, and our changing tastes, our changing times, uh, even the things that in the last, say, eight weeks that you've been following, you didn't follow those uh, a year ago, two years ago, but many of these things, we never even talked about things like COVID-19. These were new things. It's a novel virus, but Jesus Christ is eternal. And so I wanted to, to share this final thought with you. What has remained in all the things that have changed in your lifetime, and those of us who have lived uh, 50 years or so, we know a lot has changed. Our culture, the world, economics, politics, people's taste. But what has remained is Jesus Christ. Let's follow in his steps, and you'll never regret it, and never have to apologize or evolve in your thinking. Just follow that which is eternal, eternal truth. Follow Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is the way. Let's follow in his steps. Let's follow Jesus. I hope this is encouraging to you today as you think about what the future holds. How will we chart our path? Well, the path is easier when you have someone to follow. And we have Jesus Christ, the author and perfecter of our faith. God bless y'all. We'll see you soon.